Hi, this is Jamie Jensen with cameraman Mark Botides coming to you from the booming metropolis of Stillwater, Minnesota. In the back there, you can see the lift bridge and then the mighty St. Croix. And across the St. Croix is Wisconsin. Welcome to another episode of Outdoors with the Morgans. So welcome back everyone, Mike here. It is a beautiful day here in western Pennsylvania. Now this morning, it rained pretty hard as soon as I got up. It rained till about noon, but then the sun came out. It turned out to be a pretty nice day. But anyway, this evening we're down here at the uh, sawmill. We're gonna saw up a little red oak log and I wanna tell you a story about a shovel. All right, this is a nice red oak log here from a uh, recently deceased tree. It is 13 inches in diameter. I call these tweeners, you know, because I could go either way with this firewood, or lumber because I really do like red oak firewood but also like red oak lumber as well and you don't get a whole lot out of a log that's only 13 inches in diameter but we're going to see how much we can get out of this we'll get this squared up and then I'll tell you a story about a shovel Yeah, your heart is a sun and it shines as it opens. Well, your heart is a sun and it shines as it opens. Yeah, your heart is a sun and it shines as it opens. Well, your heart is a sun and it shines as it opens. Yeah, your bones are the earth and they sing. With the mountains Where well, your bones are the earth And they sing With the mountains Where yeah, your bones are the earth And they sing With the mountains Where well, your bones are the earth And they sing With the mountains So why would you look outside yourself When you have all of the world inside why would you Outside yourself when you, yeah. all of the world is. Why don't you look outside yourself when you, yeah. all of the world is. Yeah, is a 
the space that creates your horizon. For your mind is a space that creates the horizon. Yeah, your mind is a space that creates your horizon. For your mind is a space that creates your horizon. Say, why would you look outside yourself when you? All of the world inside Why would you look outside yourself when you yeah, All of the world inside Why would you look outside yourself when you have All of the world inside Why would you look outside yourself when you have All of the world inside You know, you can feel it When you look So I said I had a story about a shovel. Well, the other day I did a video and I was working down at my mom's place putting that pipe in and I had a shovel out there and there are a lot of comments saying you've never seen me use a shovel. Well, I have definitely used a shovel, a lot. Uh, I was a blaster for years, so I think 25 years. Is that how long I was shooting, Melissa? Yeah. About 25 years. And I don't know if you're familiar with it or not, but mostly I work like heavy highway construction. Some works at uh, quarries and some at coal mines, but primarily, it was heavy highway construction where we blasted through mountains. So you drill these holes, put explosives in them, and then you'd have to stem the holes. You'd have a pile of cuttings around the hole, and you'd have to shovel those holes shut. And uh, sometimes the holes were pretty big, like seven and seven eighths inch diameter, and you'd hold maybe 14 feet of stemming. And I mean, that is a pile of dirt to put in there. So uh, I literally wore shovels out, not the handles, but where they would just they would just wear out. They'd get thin and just break because we used them so much. But that's not the story. The story is there was a guy that worked for me. Uh, his name was Jesse. Big, strong guy. He was a boxer. He was a hard worker. But for some reason, Jesse always wanted to use a short-handled shovel. And there's a way to do it and there's a way not to do it. You know, you use a long-handled shovel, you kind of use your legs, and you just push all that dirt right in the hole. And I was super fast at it. So this guy, Jesse, is literally twice my size, twice as strong, and it took him twice as long to stem holes. So uh, we'd always take his short handle shovel and like throw it over the hill, would hide it from him. Oh, he'd get so mad, you know? And then it got to the point where it got so bad where he would tie it with a piece of rope to his belt and drag that shovel around, that short handle shovel, because we'd keep taking it from him. But uh, I, we could never understand why, you know what I mean? It was harder on your back, harder on everything, but that's what he wanted to do, and we just had a lot of fun, would mess with him. But anyway, I don't use a shovel that much anymore. I try not to, but I definitely have uh, about 25 years of experience with a shovel. And Piper, she's very experienced at digging Ooh, too, and a sawdust she pop. She needs a shovel. She needs a shovel and a shaver. Piper's getting a haircut next week, isn't she? Yes, thank goodness. So back to this red oak, we got this squared up here. We'll blow it off. <laughs> Should be pretty nice. Let's uh, run some. Let's run some boards off of this. I'll get uh, I think three, and then we'll flip it 180 degrees, 
and three more. Okay. So they're on uh, nine inches. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, four quarter pieces, nine inches wide. And then I've got uh, three other ones that can be trimmed. But that's actually a pretty good yield out of that one uh, little log. I told them at the beginning of this video, okay. those ones are kind of like a tweener for me between firewood and saw log, you know. But tonight was one of those nights where I didn't really have... A lot going on it was still wet from today and I didn't really need to saw this I just wanted to do it I just like to this yeah. mills relaxing for me it and it's a is, nice it way to spend the evening yeah the sun's sun. going down that's what I was gonna say did you have a uh, oh yeah birthday wish I sure do so we're on top of our game now normally we're sometimes a day or two or a week late on yeah. the birthday wishes but go ahead we're doing our best happy birthday Jonas he's eight years old from Ireland he sent us um, maybe his mom sent us the video of him using it all of his outdoor equipment. He's a worker. So happy birthday, Jonas. And I love this one. Happy birthday to Bob Barker. Bob Barker. Yeah. His wife sent us these. And have your pet spayed and neutered. Yeah. Right. And he probably gets that all the time, Bob. But listen, one of my favorite shows is The Price is Right. I seriously record it. Right now they're playing a lot of recordings, but I didn't forget that one. So May 30th, happy birthday to Bob Barker. So uh, it is actually Thursday night right now. They're going to see this video Saturday morning. So Okay, so everyone have a safe, healthy, sane weekend. If you like these videos, click the thumbs up. Comment down below. We'd love to hear from you.
click subscribe and the little bell icon beside it. If it shows that it's abbreviated, that shows that you'll get notifications when we publish a video. Check out Morgan's Off the Leash. That's my YouTube channel and you'll see me, the kid, the dogs. Yeah, I'll just post a, I'll put a video of hers, her last one up above. She just published one today. Yeah. Thanks so much. We'll see you on the next one. Hi, this is Megan Jerry Thompson on the Middle Fork of the Flathead River just outside of Essex, Montana. If you're just watching our episode of Outdoors with the Morgans, please hit like, subscribe, share with your friends, leave a comment below, and have a day.